Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to another Subatis video, and we have a blog post for the work in progress for the talent trees that are coming in Dragonflight, the next World of Warcraft expansion. This is a major feature, a highlight, especially for myself. I know a lot of competitive players are going to be obsessed with trying to figure out the paths and routes and options on these talent trees to be able to explore what Dragonflight has to offer for your class. So if you're interested in that type of content and getting that type of information then make sure you hit the subscribe button in today's video i will be covering the balance druid its baseline abilities its class talents as well as its balance druid talents so that you can see if there's any new awesome stuff or if there's potentially any problems because the first major concern that jumped off for me was what baseline abilities are going to be going into these talent trees that I didn't have to make a choice about that I will now have to make a choice about and what implications will that have on the way that my class plays am I going to be losing out on something um, and when we look at the talent tree we can immediately see uh, that we are going to have two choices the spec talent tree as well as the class talent tree and we'll have 61 talents to choose and to my understanding you can only go down down, not up so you can't kind of like go up um, but maybe if they left it as an option it would actually fix one of the problems that I noticed the first thing that jumped off the page um, is things like decurse is here hibernate uh, typhoon and cyclone these were previously uh, baseline abilities so you didn't have to pick them or have them compete with other options and when we look at the left side of the wing we have things like frenzied regeneration um, interrupts damage reduction and when it comes to PvP specifically almost all competitive players uh, I've noticed this trend will opt for defense options and the ones that can get their class the closest to invincibility these are the builds that are the most dominant and the most commonly run because they're the most forgiving to making mistakes um, so you can play through the game and make a lot of mistakes and still uh, arrive the victor so defense tends to be greater than offense or utility so I would be you know a little bit sad to lose things like hibernate very sad if i ended up having to lose something like decurse um, because this is kind of a skill oriented ability for the balance druid to notice when hexes are coming out or to remove an important poison to assist their healer um, these have key moments in the game that are outside of the normal thought process of just doing as much damage as possible that i enjoy from the balance druid experience as well as critical choices like cyclone uh, if it ends up uh, having us go too deep into the other trees to get those defense oriented talents it was my first concern but i do really think that i need to get into the game to to know if that's a 100% thing. It doesn't, this talent tree isn't built the way that I can kind of click and see where my talents would end up. Hopefully that will be the case in the future because that would help, uh, help fix whether or not that is actually gonna be going on or not. So let's get started. Let's look at what's coming, what's getting new, uh, aside from the initial concerns of my initial feedback. One of the new abilities coming back baseline to Druid specifically is Mark of the Wild. This is now going to increase the target's speed and critical strike chance by 3% and reduce their magic damage taken by 3% for 60 minutes. If the target is in your raid or party, all party members or raid members will be affected. So baseline Mark of the Wild, not going to be the previous iterations of resistance and, and stats and stuff like that, taking a little bit of a different approach. Curious to see how much movement speed it is exactly, but I would assume this is then going to make Druid a kind of, you need at least one uh, for your raid. And then in PvP, I think the speed element of this could have some big impact because movement speed has always been important. Uh, in World of Warcraft PvP, you can even think back to the old movement speed and chance on your boots and things like that and stacking speed and trying to get faster than your opponents. Uh, so if this is a decent chunk of speed, it could be very fun in PvP specifically. Now when we look at the class talent trees, uh, you'll start to see more specifically what I was talking about, the choices between Frenzied Regeneration and Rejuvenation, which then leads into Decurse. You do get the Starfire tree uh, granted by B default here all the way up to star surge it looks so you're gonna have a little bit of movement speed but if it if it comes down between choosing between frenzied regen and decurse in pvp you're almost always going to pick frenzied regen um, so i am a bit worried about that but i do want the talent trees to come out and you can see the remove corruption listed here you can see improved frenzied regeneration increasing the healing of it by such such a significant amount and if we have to end up making that choice uh, i would be a little bit sad about it um, you're going to get moon conform uh, this is then going to increase your damage of your spells you're obviously going to want to take this as a balance druid uh, specifically in this video hibernate coming in as a talent rather than a baseline ability uh, or if you're going to go down these cat trees and what my main concern at least um, for pvp is that 
you're probably not going to pick the cat talents because they don't heal you for a huge chunk of your health. They don't make you, you know, invincible to enemy attackers. And that's kind of been the way that Feral Affinity has worked prior to Dragonflight. So I do worry, at least in PvP, that those cat options will likely never be selected. It will be a debate between the utility of the balance wing versus the defense of the guardian, um, which is kind of always the way that it's been, uh, at least for balance druids specifically. So that's the one that jumps off the page for me looking at it uh, so far. But I do wonder if there's a way to get a talent build where you would end up having Skull Bash or not. Um, again, it depends on how powerful the deep balance druid options are. Um, but I, I want to be able to jump into it. But it looks like you'll be able to have Skull Bash as any druid uh, spec if you are able to allocate enough points into it. Um, you will have to talent for Sunfire. So again, like taking an important dot like that, that, that uh, was previously baseline and having to talent for that. I'm not sure if that's... I'm not sure if this is because of Resto Druids doing so much damage to Mythic Plus with Sunfire that it now needs to be a, a talent to try and compensate for that, but perhaps. Uh, and then when we look down further, um, we'll be able to do uh, even more defensive options when you use Bark Skin or Survival Instincts. You absorb a small amount of damage over eight seconds. Um, you have to go for Improved Sunfire to get back the original utility of the Sunfire just automatically spreading to targets. So I'm not... I'm not 100% of that. It will then, at least in situations where you don't want it to AoE in PvP, perhaps. But again, it depends on where that leads down to when we look at the talent trees. So it looks like if you talent ta into Sunfire, it will not AoE. But if you talent off to the right, it will then AoE. So if in PvP, you could opt to just not have it AoE if you didn't want to be doing spread damage, which actually is a nice quality of life improvement uh, when I look at this. And it's kind of the second time that I've looked at this list. Um, so I do wonder if that will actually not have serious implications but as we continue to scroll down you'll see that you'll have to select uh, between typhoon which was off to the side um, and that will likely be kind of a, a, a mandatory lock-in for druid um, so i'm a bit sad to see that going into the talents to where you would have to make a choice for it then we've got interesting ones here ursine vigor which was i believe a conduit for four seconds after shifting into bear form your health and armor are increased by 15 to 30 percent so these conduits now coming into the talent trees as well as lycaria's teachings you gain one two three percent of a stat based on your current form moon conform you'll be gaining mastery uh, improved rejuvenation rejuve lasting three seconds longer and then you have a choice node which will have you choose between mass and tank Entanglement or Ursul's Vortex. Um, having these compete with each other makes a little bit more sense because they're both focused around AoE uh, crowd control. So I think that that is an interesting decision uh, to have to make between the two of them. Uh, and those were already uh, talents previously. So it makes sense. Uh, Well-honed instincts. L not really super excited to see this coming back uh, baseline, um, at least when it comes to PvP. I think mechanics like this, when you fall below 40% health, you cast Frenzied Regeneration up to once every 120 to 90 seconds. Um, not a big fan of like the auto heal, auto shield, auto damage reduction mechanics. So I'm not personally the biggest fan, although it is really powerful and this will help you be competitive as a balanced druid. Um, I don't think that they provide the most interesting interactions. Um, so I'm not the biggest fan of seeing it continue forward, but it will. Uh, and then you'll have to choose between getting Innervate. Um, now in PVP specifically, often Innervate doesn't really end up being too much of a consequence. So you might not ha you might not care if you have to drop this to go for more defense onto the defense options when it comes to PVP. But if you don't go down Innervate, it looks like you won't be able to get access to Nature's Vigil, which is for 20 seconds, all single target healing and damage spells. Also heal nearby enemies based on the amount done, 20% for heals, 40% for damage, 1.5 minute cooldown. So we see the return of Nature's Vigil. Um, this was back in Warlords of Draenor. It often competed with Heart of the wild which it looks like it will again uh, with heart of the wild being down towards the bottom end of the tier um, but this makes me think that you're probably as a balanced druid if we had to mock this up you're going to want to go down into improved moonkin you'd want to get cyclone you'd want to be getting typhoon you'd need to get sunfire um, and then if you want those mass entangled solar beams you'd have to go for solar beam and then at which point you could maybe go down the resto tree to get decurse um, but you would, again, only want this against classes that have it, which is my concern with uh, with talents like this is, I, I guess you'd have multiple loadouts, right? They're going to have the multiple loadouts. So if you had a loadout for decurse when you needed it, 
it might be all right. I'd, I really need to play this to know if that's gonna be 100% all right or not. Um, but I would miss those interactions if they end up getting lost for what is typically picked, which is defense. But now when we jump into more specifically the balanced druid talent wings, uh, there's a lot of interesting things in the talents here. We're gonna have to choose between getting Eclipse here, improving our Eclipse, uh, improving our Moonfire and Sunfire. These are kind of standard things that I would have expected. Um, this is already a choice that you made in your previous talent windows between Force of Nature and Nature's Balance Warrior of a Loon. Um, in moon, improved moon conforms. This is the Alcan Frenzy, so having to choose between this. Uh, Starfall or Celestial Alignment um, was a big choice. Uh, and then improved Star Surge. Solar Beam uh, is a, as a talent rather than a baseline as a balanced druid. Uh, and then the Return of the Power of Goldrin. This was one of my favorite abilities uh, from Legion, one of the passes from the artifact weapon. Star Surge has a chance to summon the Spirit of Goldrin, which immediately deals damage to the target, basically just like an extra wolf that gets st uh, sent out. And it seems to me um, the main purposes of this talent tree are to maybe more specialize your balance druid into what given spell you want to focus on, whether it's damage over time, um, star surge or starfall, which to be honest, I really like those as customization options. You can see that by being able to go after adaptive swarm um, or balance of all things towards the end of it here. So I really do hope that these talent trees, um, once they're available and there's maybe a beta or an alpha or something that's out, which I will get out as soon as possible. Again, this is a work in progress. I think this is, they just want our initial feedback um, for this specifically. And I just wanted to show you some of the things that were highlighted. I really need to get the talents to try it, um, but I would be very excited to see what types of builds you can do with the balance druid because I've always wanted it to be where you can build your druid to be a starfall druid. So it's dots, it's AOE, or you could focus your druid on a star surge build, which is really focused on burst and timing your attacks. And then maybe a hybrid that focuses somewhere in between that can flex, but not be as strong as the other two options um, has been kind of where balance druid has fallen for me. Um, throughout Legion. So I'm hoping that this is how the talents will end up playing when Dragonflight comes out, is that you'll be able to build your Boomkin to focus on those different types of play styles and have a unique route when you're going down here onto these options, depending on what other classes you're playing with or what opponents you're going into to try and determine which ones of these builds for a loadout would be the most interesting. But that was my initial assessment. My first concern was what are the baseline abilities? The Decurse, Hibernate Typhoon, Cyclone jumped off the page to me right away, competing with Frenzied Regen and Defense on Guardian. And then what types of builds are we going to expect from the Boomkin? Really liked the Spirit of Goldrin uh, making its return here. Um, and we'll have to see this when we get in game. But this is my initial assessment for the Balanced Druid and the Talents for Dragonflight. I hope that you enjoyed it. And I will catch you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.